Welcome to My Sky Access new website training. First, log in. Once you're logged in, this is the screen. See? Then let's do doc views first. Doc views, if you click on the word, brings up your doc views. And what these are, are these like your home page. What you do is you click on new, and then it kind of tells you what you need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to do this. I'm going to change the name to office. You can choose any name you'd like. Click OK. Then I'm going to drag these up, and I'm going to put these on my screen because I want to be able to do a quick search for users and my card information. I want to be able to watch the events as they happen so that I could see what's happening when I swipe a card or a door is unlocked or uh, a relay is fired. I've got all these up just like this. Now, you can take each box and you can modify each box. But as you see, as I move this box this direction, I get more features. So check each box out and see how you want to uh, set them up. I'm going to do my relays. Okay. And then I'm going to hit this close button. That gets rid of that bottom section. So now, as you can see, I have relays, I have doors, I have it all laid out so that I can see everything that's going on. So, this is your dock view. Now, go back and click on dock views. For this to appear the same every time you log in, you need to click on it. Down here where it says assign to, click assign to. And then your name will pop up here. I'm just going to select that. Click OK. If you get an error, click OK. They're the bug. They're working on it to fix that. But now that it is assigned to your desktop view or your dock views, in the future when you log in, it'll be here. And you can have as many of these as you want. There are also other features here. If you click on operation, door, looks just like what we created on the dock views. See where you've got your lock, unlock, one-time access, all of that. That's your operation. If you wanted to, you click event, same thing. This is the same thing that we have on our, if we click on dock views, back on our office um, for example here I'll just uh, lock if you select it highlight it and we click unlock and we click lock and we click lock and we click unlock every time we do something see it generates an event it puts it over here and now we click lock one more time but this screen is basically an operation screen where you can use and do all of these different functions. Configuration. If you wanted to, uh, like, let's say here in our Users tab, configuration is just a larger screen of it. Users. And now here's all of the users that are in our system. Now you can filter them. You can type in. Don't even have to press enter or anything. It automatically. Now, double click. Double click brings up the information in which you can use it. You type in the username or adjust the username. Card type. Remember, we always use card types. 
So you select a card type, that'll fill in their access level. Card user number one, number two, number three, if they have four, you can put up to five. And then it shows here that the valid is the state of the card is valid. We're not going to change anything, so we're going to cancel. So there's if you wanted to add one, you just click on add. Oh, in this screen, when you highlight this, it shows you everything they did for the last couple of transactions. You can grab this bar, you can slide this down. When that card was swiped, it's kind of a quick see what they've done. If you want to add a card, you click Add, and it'll tell you enter the username. Remember, do card type, enter the card, so then it's two digits, colon, five digits. Then, when you use the card type, it'll automatically fill this in. You just click Save. We're going to keep Okay, that's configuration. Now you can also do schedules, holidays, and then some can do tenant lists. If you have the intercom module that attaches to the Cantex system, you can go in and you can do your tenant. You go back to home, our dock views.